What's up, Internet? Kern 1776 with Mission 76 from June of 2021, right here in front of me in all of its glory. We just got back from Blade Show a few days ago, and if you haven't been to a Blade Show, I suggest you go. It's the first weekend of June every year in Atlanta, except for last year, of course. So that's why it was really cool, because we got to see a lot of people that we hadn't seen in a long time, and man, have they been hard at work building cool and new, innovative freaking knives. If you're a knife lover, you've got to go to Blade Show. And I think they got a Blade Show West coming up later in the year, so some of you guys out on the West Coast can go to that as well. I'm assuming it's gonna be just as big as the Blade Show that's here in Atlanta, but it is awesome. It's the only place that you can go dressed like a Viking with a giant sword on your back and nobody looks at you weird. Well, maybe a few people look at you weird, but. But it's that kind of place, man. Knives everywhere. So we got a lot of really cool stuff coming down the pipe over the next you know, 12 to 14 months. And uh, it's really awesome. But I just want to let you guys know something, if you don't already. The common theme at Blade Show was people are having trouble getting people to work. People are having trouble getting materials to build knives. The cost of everything going up, like it's crazy. So hopefully that's starting to go away now that you know, the world's kind of trying to get back at it. You know, COVID's hopefully taking a downturn and things to get back to normal early. So just understand something. Delays and stuff like that's happening all over the map from the supply all the way to getting it in people's warehouses so they can ship it out. It's not a battle box problem. It's a world problem. But there's light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, it's going to be freaking awesome. So without any further ado, let me show you what's in this here 76 box. Yeehaw. Y'all ready for this? So speaking of traveling, I know we don't do themes anymore, but some of the stuff in this box right here will help you out with the traveling that hopefully you're gonna do now that the freaking country's opening back up. So let me show you what you got. Yeehaw. All right. Sit this over, you know. We got our mission brief, 76. Right here, I like that year, it's an awesome year. I mean, 1776, <laughs> let's get into the basic box. So first up in basic box is a creature comfort. When you're drinking a beverage that's cold, you wanna keep it cold, right? You wanna look stylish doing it sometimes. What we got here is, let me get it out of the packaging here. Lord and Field Leather Koozie. Some people call it a cozy, I call it a koozie. I don't know what it's supposed to be called, why don't y'all you know, correct me. I'm sure I'm going to be corrected like usual with my grammar. <laughs> but we've got the leather koozie right here. It's really cool. It's lined on the inside. Help keep that beverage nice and cold. And you'll have the nicest koozie out of everybody that you're hanging out, having a cold beverage with. What's great about these? You slide it in your pocket. You can take it with you and quit taking your buddy's koozies. All right? All right? This is your koozie. Don't let nobody take this, because it's always the guy that shows up, and wants to have a few drinks, hang out. He's like, hey man, you got a koozie? Yeah, I got a koozie. Well, there goes your koozie, because he's taking it home with him, I promise you. So uh, if you want to attach a chain or something to it and hook it to your belt, it might be a good idea, because they're going to they're gonna run off with this. Rugged, rakish, refined, yeehaw. That's an awesome, awesome little koozie right there, or cozy, wherever, whatever you call it. Camping at the house, going to ball games, tailgating the whole nine yards. Really nice koozie right there. Thought it'd be an awesome little Lord and Field item for you in the basic box if it'll stand up. Oh yeah, and on the bottom it's got the, the buffalo on the bottom. Second up in the basic box. Now I don't know about you, but staying clean in camp can be a chore sometimes and making a koozie stand up without a drink in it. I'll tell you an experience I had. I spent a little over a week hiking up and down the mountains in Colorado chasing elk years ago. Tent camp, whole nine, basically washed with baby wipes all week. When I finally got to the hotel room the night before taking my flight back home, I took like a three hour shower. And that's how long it took me to get where I didn't stink anymore. <laughs> so this product right here is really cool and I wish it was around when I was on that trip in Colorado. So it's crud cloth. It's all self-contained in this. It's got the solution and the soap and all already in it. It's a, uh, a towel that you can reuse. It's not going to break down. It's, it's, it's really, really good material. So 
You're going to get one of three of these. You can get the citrus, so it's got like essential oils and stuff like that along with it as well. So you got like a citrus um, scent here, if you will. And you may get peppermint, which is I like. That one's that one's really cool. And you may get the unscented one. One of these three you're going to get. So I'm going to do the unscented one just because I want to save those. <laughs> you know. It says smack, squish, tear, and scrub. As you can tell, it's kind of puffed up in there. See how it's puffed up in there? It's a little puffed up like a puffer fish. So what you do is that solution is in there. You smack it, and it pops the, uh, the bag inside, and you can get that towel nice and moist so that you can use it moist. Some people hate that word, moist. You can slap your buddy on the back of the head with it. It works really good. Smack, squish, tear. Ow. What the hell, man? Huh? What's wrong with you? It said, I got this product in it said smack. I figured that was the hardest thing around here to smack. It's a towel. Steve's got a really hard head, so it works great. Ow. There we go. Smack it. Squish it. Now you can tear the top open. It is a resealable bag, so you can reuse the bag. Here's the little bag of solution that's inside that you busted when you smacked it. Ow. And here is the towel that's nice and wet. And it's like a sure enough bath towel that you would buy in the store to use at your house. And you can scrub yourself down. All right, while you're in camp. It is 100% cotton, so what does that mean? Now you got something you can make char cloth with, you can do all sorts of things with after it dries if need be, or you just got another rag, so if you do have a bar of soap in your pack or something like that, you can keep using this. This is a real, I mean, literally it's like they went, you know, to the home store and, and bought washcloths and put them in these bags. It's a durable washcloth that you can you reuse. Keep in your truck when you got a day to check your oil or, you know, work on, work on your tractor or your lawnmower. Well, hell, there's a million uses for that. Mm-hmm, yeah. I mean, you always need a rag for something, right? And you need, I mean, keep one in your vehicle when you need to wash your hands. Keep one in a boat when you get fish smell all over you. You need to wash your hands in camp, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Really cool product right there, the crud cloth. Shower in a box made in the USA, yeehaw. Again, citrus, peppermint, or unscented is what you're going to get. Smell awesome. Make you feel clean, especially the peppermint. Peppermint's got that cooling effect. Just really makes you feel clean. So, third in the basic box. I'm telling you, this right here is going to make some people happy. Makes me happy in a basic box. A knife. Not just any knife. A really nice knife. So, several months back, we sent out a Gonzo knife, and a lot of people really liked it. So we're revisiting Gonzo with the Firebird 7601. Little fabric, a uh, little tote right there for it or a way to clean. This thing is nice. Check that rig out right there. So this is 440C stainless steel. It's got G10 scales. It's got a really interesting lock system there. It has the thumb stud so you can open it piece of bubble plastic stuck in it. I'll have to get that out later. Really nice clip, nice strong clip, just like the last Ganzo, which I really like. Some knives in this price range have really crappy clips. This has got a really nice clip. It's gonna stay nice and taut to the scale right there. And it's a good looking knife, don't you think? I think it's a great looking knife. Really sharp out of the box. Got a lanyard, um, lanyard hole there if you're into the whole lanyard game. And as you can see, 
it's got this lock right here. I can't remember, it's called the G-lock. Don't cut yourself. I want you to see how smooth this lock is. Okay, so once that loosens up, you can unlock it very easily. If your fingers are down here, you don't want that thing swinging down and catching your finger. But really solid knife right there in the basic box. So you basic box rascals, get yourself a knife, yeehaw. A very nice one too. Great EDC knife, pretty much, you know, for any, any task. I believe it's got the flat grind to it. It does very, very slick gonzo in a basic box. Can't go wrong with a gonzo in a basic box, yeehaw. And then you got this right here to keep it nice and shiny. So that's your basic box. You got yourself a koozie, cozy. You got yourself some crud cloth right there, which is freaking awesome, and an awesome gonzo knife for EDC. You can beat the crap out of that knife. It's going to serve you well. So now we're going to jump into the advanced box. So in the advanced box, we got the Nomadic Vacuum Bag 2.0 XL. 2.0. That means it's a new and improved edition. So it comes in this nice little zip bag right here that I recommend you keep because we always need old bags to keep stuff in and this you can use this somewhere in a kit. Don't need that. So what we have here is this rather large nomadic vacuum bag. Vacuum bag? Do I hook a vacuum to it? Nope, you don't. <laughs> I guess you could if you wanted to. You don't have to. You're the vacuum. So you got this really durable zip right here, kind of like a big Ziploc bag. What's nice about this is several things. Gosh, so many different things you can do with this. Number one, packing bags can sometimes be a real pain in the buttocks, right? So you always got, you know, stuff piled up and you're using suitcases and things like that. And I don't too much care for that, right? Like I like to use a bag or a backpack. So with things like this, I'll, you can put your stuff in there, dirty, clean, wet, whatever. Well, he's 90% naked right now. Dirty, stinky, right? Put that stuff in a bag, pillows, to, oh God. I see why it stinks now, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jesus. Stand over there, because I gotta look this way. <laughs> They get the idea. Put those back on. <laughs> Our video just got took down. <laughs> All right. So, uh, going on vacation, you're going out camping or whatever, pillows take up a lot of space. You can stuff your pillows in here. Blankets and stuff like that take up a lot of space. Let's just face it. Clothes are bulky when you're trying to carry them around with you. I like to use this for dirty clothes, especially if, if you're traveling. I, I typically don't get my clothes washed when I'm traveling, like just for a couple days, you know, say to Blade Show or something like that. So you can put your stanky socks and underwear and things like that in here, roll it up, put it in your pack, and you ain't got to worry about it stinking up everything else in your pack. But anyway, so I got 90% of Daniel's clothes in here. I gave him his underwear back, which is a good thing. <laughs> for me, mostly, not for you, because I'm, you know, I'm not going to put you through that. There we go. You've got this valve right here. You want to open that valve up. So now you just start rolling, and you push that air out. And you'll be surprised, and I didn't really fold this stuff up very neatly in here, but if you put stuff in there neatly, especially blankets and towels and stuff like that, pillows, this rascal can get very small. You get the idea. So you fill it full, and it's got these straps right here that you can pull in. Cinch up. Don't need that. Oh, look what I got it. 
blade show. Ooh, that's sharp. I'm, I'm not joking. You can stack this thing with pillows and blankets, which is probably the most bulky items when you go camping or you know you go traveling with that stuff. You can you can vacuum these rascals down and oh yeah, you need to close your valve and really and put them in suitcases. You can basically take your bed with you. <laughs> you know, some people like to sleep with their pillow and their blankets. It's reinforced on the bottom, fits great in backpacks, luggage, et cetera, et cetera. And Nomadic is kind of a big time company when it comes to luggage and travel gear. So they know what they're doing. They got a lot of really cool packs and suitcases and luggage and stuff like that. This right here tops it off. Get it out, open your valve. Let's a little bit of air in, just lost my mission brief. Open it back up and you can give Daniel's clothes back. There you go, buddy. Thank you. You look a little chilly there. But that's the Nomadic vacuum bag, 2.0 XL. So it's, it is the extra large. I dig it. I think it's freaking awesome. Now that Daniel's dressed again, we can move on to the Pro Box. So in the Pro Box, to make that even mo, mo better, right there, we've got a Lord and Field leather duffel bag. Now this right here, since in their logos, the buffalo or bison, this is genuine buffalo leather right here. Really nice bag. And I tell you what, your boy current 1776 has been going to the gym for about a month. And I've been using this as my gym bag. Perfect. Matter of fact, a lot of people are like, hey man, that's a nice bag. I'm like, yeah, it's like the nicest bag I've ever had. Genuine buffalo leather. It's got your strap. It's got a pocket up here on the front with the buckle, which is cool. You got your, uh, your zippered ends here, which is nice. Tennis shoes or whatever. Put your uh, dot bag in there. Real good um, zippers right there, but it's also got like this fleece lined interior right here. So if you want to put a tablet in there, you know, use this as an everyday bag. You know, if, if you, you know, go to an office and you, you want to carry stuff with you, it's really good, especially with electronics because it is got that like, fleece lining in it. It's nice and soft throughout. It smells freaking awesome too. It's got that real nice leather smell to it. And we used it, obviously, all of us used one for blade show, you know. Packs up really good. It's kind of hard to show a bag when there's nothing in it. So this is one with a bunch of stuff in it, a bunch of clothes and stuff in it. 23 inches long, 12 inches tall, and it's nine inches wide right here. So plenty of room for shoes, dress clothes, whatever. If you want to look like a freaking badass when you're walking around, going to the gym, going to hotels, going to whatever, this is the bag to do it. So, and of course, it's a great carry-on bag for the airport if you do travel by air, which hopefully everybody's gonna get back to traveling real soon. So, accompanied with the Nomadic uh, vacuum bag right there. And even camping for that matter, it is leather, so it's gonna hold up well to the elements and stuff like that. It's gonna get nice and worn in and everything. It's gonna get nice and subtle you know, if that's the correct word for it, but a great camp bag for just a quick overnight camp, something like that. You know, if you got, you, you camp out of your vehicle and all that sort of stuff, it's a great bag. You can just put your stuff in there, toss it in your truck, in your car, and you're ready to rock. So camping, whatever, you can put gear in here because it's going to keep your gear protected because it's got that fleece lining on the inside so you don't have to worry about things getting scratched when they're getting banged around in there. Some merino wools. Wool uh, socks in there. So speaking about socks, stinky socks, the Marina wool socks, which help control the stink, right? If you ain't figured that out already, we we got a little we got a little bit of a little bit of jawing about the socks, man. We got a little bit of jawing about the socks that went the last box. But then once people started wearing them, checking them out, they were like, man, these are the best freaking socks in the world. <laughs> we got a ton of freaking messages. Hey, man. We were wrong about the socks. Socks are awesome, and people ordered freaking crap out of more socks. It's, it's ridiculous. So this bag might do the same thing for you. You might be like, ah, it's a leather bag. Man. I'm not real thrilled about it. Wait till you get it. Wait till you use it. You'd be like, oh, Kern was right again. I mean, that's, just, that's the thing. Like, like, everything has a freaking use. Everything has a purpose. 
And these are not samples. These are not, this isn't a trinket box. It's actual stuff if you use and you have an open mind and you try it, you get it in your hands, you're like, dang, this is a quality pair of socks. Or this is a quality bag. This is a quality knife. It's a freaking quality koozie. I mean, how much quality can you put in a freaking koozie? All of it. All of it. <laughs> <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's great stuff. You got to, I, I get it. You know, we, we, I put this video out because I want you guys to get the true information because we all have opinions. Hey, I got opinions. You know, you got opinions. We all got opinions. And sometimes my opinion gets changed when I actually have something in my hands that I'm looking at and actually use. And uh, we try really hard to... Um, to be sure to put correct information out there, and then you can form your opinion on your own. I mean, you're a human being. You got your, you got the right to do that. But this is quality stuff, right? This 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 stuff right here is uh, it's friggin' nice, and they all got a purpose. That's why we put the video out. Others put out videos, give their opinion, and people immediately jump on somebody else's opinion. Get the stuff in your hands, try it. Odds are you're going to be far more impressed with it than looking at it in a video. So now time for the Pro Box. The creme de la creme. Is that how you say it? Creme de la creme? Anyway, <laughs> Fox Knives is an amazing knife company. As a matter of fact, at this past Blade Show a few days ago, they won the number one import knife. So they won the Import Knife of the Year Award and they won the Best Overall Knife Award at Blade Show 2021. And, and I'm... This is serious business because you, and unless you go to a blade show, you don't, you can't fathom the amount of knives that are entered into and how many knife companies are there. So it's a big deal. Fox Knives did an amazing job this year, okay? And this knife was in a display case, and there was a lot of buzz about this knife. So Fox Edge is the same company. It's just their American imported brand, right? So, and, and in past, they didn't do a lot of Fox knives and Fox edges of the same design, but they're doing that now. Extremely expensive knives. They're also using that same design in Fox edge at a little bit different price point. Still great knives, still made by Fox knives. It's just under the Fox edge brand. It's the same company. Quality is a big deal with these guys. So even though it's Fox edge, they treat it as if, hey, this, this is a fox knife, right? This, this, is, this is the fox brand, okay? And they make no bones about it. They put as much attention to detail into their fox edge line as they do their fox line. So this knife, again, was in a display case. There was customers there from BattleBox that saw this knife, and everybody friggin' loved it. And it was a big deal at the fox booth. And we got one right here, as a matter of fact. Yeehaw, in this here box that says Fox Edge on it. So it's the Fox Edge FE 520. And if you are into blacked out knives, you're welcome. The FE 520, hold it here still so Daniel don't have to hunt me. Mm. I'm, I, I talk with my hands, folks, I'm sorry. <laughs> so what we have here is the Fox Edge FE 520 that's designed by Boris Manitrov. I hope I'm saying that right. Probably not and manufactured obviously by Fox Edge. So it's a three and it's a 3.74 drop point flat grind blah, 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 blade. Pow! My tongue ran away with me. VG10 steel. It's freaking awesome. That's an awesome blade right there. You got yourself a glass breaker here on the back end. You got jimping here on the back for good grip. Adequate up here. You also have this indention that kind of gives it a little bit more of a flare, drops a little bit of weight from the blade. Amazing sharpness. I said this a thousand times, nobody sharpens a knife like the Fox brand knives. Nobody. Fox knows how to sharpen freaking knives. So again, VG10, and it is a 3.74 inch blade G10 scales. It has an ambidextrous clip, so you can take this clip loose and attach it to the other side if you wish. It's a tip-up carry. That is just a beautiful knife right there. 
And you talk about feeling good in the hand, fits my hand perfect. I mean, it, that's an amazing knife. If you're a collector, this is a definite addition to a collection right here. Blacked out, very kind of tactical looking um, with Fox quality, plain and simple. And in the Fox brand, it's the exact same knife. It's the same knife. It's about three times the cost of this knife. <laughs> so this right here is still an expensive knife, but um, you know, you go putting super steels in it, stuff like that. I mean, price goes through the roof and you know, same quality, same sharpness, everything it just has VG 10 steel. Really the only difference, you put the two side by side, other than the steel, same knife. Exact same build quality and everything. And it is a liner lock, as you can see right there. The FE520, that thing right there is sexy. I love a sexy knife. So it's an eight and a half inch overall knife and it weighs 6.7 ounces for those of you that are, that are into the specs. So that's mission 76, folks. This right here, I, I dig. You wanna know why? Because I've basically used everything in here over the last few months. <laughs> so let's do a real quick recap. We got this awesome washcloth right here from Cloudcough. You just smack it, squish it, and tear the bag open and put it to work. And you can reuse that. I mean, heck, you, you can use, once you use it, take it home, wash it, you can, you can throw it with your normal stuff in the bathroom and use it as a normal washcloth because it's that kind of quality. I mean, it's a, it's a straight up washcloth right there. Or use it to make fire starters because it is 100% cotton. That is freaking awesome. Then we got the Lord and Field Genuine Buffalo Leather la uh, Bag right here. This thing's nice. I'm telling you, when you get it in your hands and you start using it, you're going to be amazed with it. If it's not your thing, you got a heck of a freaking Christmas gift for somebody because I promise you, you know somebody that would kill to have that bag right there. It's awesome. Matter of fact, I almost sold mine on the way out of Blade Show. The guy kept asking me about it. <laughs> he was like, where can I get it? I was like, you got to wait, man. <laughs> you got to wait. So really cool bag right there. You're really going to enjoy that. Then we got the Nomadic Vacuum Bag 2.0 XL. This thing right here is freaking sweet. Tons of uses. Use it on a boat. Use it while you're camping. Use it while you're traveling. Use it for dirty clothes. You know, if you're in college and you go home to do your laundry and you give your mom a big old stinky bag of clothes, put them in there. She'll be impressed that you did something like that in such a nice bag. It's freaking awesome. This bag right here pairs excellent with this right here, especially if you use it as a gym bag like I do. Then we've got the, uh, the Lord and Field koozie right there. That's a, that's a nice koozie, I'm telling you. And I'm not joking when I say hook a chain to it to your belt because it will get gone if you've got buddies like mine that like to collect your koozies. <laughs> they never have one when they show up and they, they leave with it. So I don't know what they do with it after that. We've got the Gonzo right there. That's a sweet EDC knife. Very well built, very sharp. It's a knife that you, you can beat on. You, 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 can, you can put that through the paces and not have to worry about messing up a really, really nice knife that you may have or you may currently carry if you use your blade a lot. That's a good knife. Throw in a tackle box, keep in a vehicle, use it as an EDC knife. I mean, it's a great knife, awesome knife, and it's in the basic box. So basic box and up subscribers, yeehaw on the Ganzo. And last, certainly not least, is the Fox Edge FE520 right there. Amazing knife, amazing build quality. It's got Fox written all over it. And uh, I think, you know, the fact that they're taking some of their higher end knives and putting them in the Fox Edge line, that's a plus. And we saw a lot of really cool ones at Blade Show. So there's a lot of really, really cool opportunities up over the next 12, 14 months from Fox Edge. Awesome, awesome knife. So again, Mission 76 from Curran 76 here at BattleBox. Yeehaw. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like, comment, follow, hit the bell icon, the whole nine, so that you know when we post more videos. And uh, we'll see you next month for July. All right? We're celebrating July. Fireworks, the whole nine. We ain't, we ain't sitting at the house, Joe Biden, because uh, I got me a leather cozy. Yeehaw. Take that with me, too. Peace out, Cub Scouts.
I'm gonna get started on Fourth of July right now. <laughs> I spilled a little. Dude. Sorry, right. I got a crud cloth. <laughs> Stand over there, because I got to look this way. <laughs> they get the idea. Put those back on. <laughs> Ow. What the hell, man? Huh? What's wrong with you?